in this uh, real world you got to <coughs> I guess to understand why you know the way you know that I could be here and you could understand that what I said when I said it was what I wanted to say when I wanted to say it and you could never understand exactly why I wanted to say it the way I wanted to say it unless you wanted to keep getting to know me keep wanting to understand every other word every other sound every other one or the one that before that one before this one again every little stumble every time I looked at you and told you that I was different again how much longer before you thought I was someone else someone else besides whoever you wanted me to be could you rely on my reality could you understand that I never had men these sentences over to the last one over and again and you could never have to understand what I was and why I wanted to speak the way I wanted to speak because I like the way the man speaks and I never had to tell you who I was where I was coming from and where I wanted to go I was never there and I was never there before and I never wanted to be there and I never had to tell you why I wanted to be here and where that man ended up to today because what you had to understand what you saw in a movie you didn't really understand the rest of these realities and what you thought a movie was and what you thought you could be but I never had to tell you about who I wanted to talk about but I never tell you about what I wanted to say and why this sing-song tone meant so much more to me as a boy coming out of a world where I couldn't understand exactly what you thought you were looking at when people lied on TV that I could lie in a million different ways and I have to lie just to tell you about who I am because it doesn't make a little bit of sense to you and I can't tell you a true story and embellish it a little bit dead man tells no tales no one understands exactly what I say why I say why would I say it the way I say it I'm a dead child and you don't know who I am you don't want to know who I am you don't want to understand it in the real world you say yourself over and over and over again and it doesn't mean a damn thing to me it doesn't make any sense except that you talk about the living world that's what you mean and you spell it real so that I can't exist the whole idea of what you wanted to say and why you wanted to say it the way you wanted to say it. I never had to understand exactly what you were, where you wanted to come from, where you wanted to say, where you wanted to be, and what you thought this accent actually meant to me. It's never the same, never the same at all. You could be anything you wanted to be, but you didn't know how many different infinite kinds of tones we had in each one of these aspects. Every reality we have had to sing about here in this world, this life. You know that this mending of conversation could never really have to understand exactly what you were unless I had all these noise in the background here. You didn't understand what was going on with crystal clear microphones they brought about. That never once did you have to understand why they could cut away from the face. It never had to make any sense to you. It never had to understand exactly what you were doing, where you came from, where you were going, and what digitally restored really meant in your life and your aspect of your reality. Did I talk like the way the other people talked? Did I understand exactly what you wanted me to say? How do you get me to say what you want me to say? Is there any kind of way I can want to say it? That you wouldn't understand how to get me to say? Good luck getting me to do what you wanted me to do. But I can play a role for a second and help you understand that I'm not that man, but I'm this man. Man or not? Sure enough. Man is Superman. He could be a boy still and you'd never know he was Kryptonian and never Samoan. But that he scared you. And he was Superman as Superman as Superman. And I could never be him unless I wanted to. And I wanted to... Believe that I could take this power out from my own hesitations and understand exactly what I wanted to do and what I wanted to see and what I wanted to sing into and understand this kind of a reality. But I'm looking for someone else, a reality you don't understand. That if I know th one thing, two things about Superman, it's that he never made a mistake, so neither will I. I'll understand exactly what I am, what I wanted to be, and what I wanted for my friendship and my reality, and who you are, and who you say you are, and what you wanted to do. And when you can believe that this one power, this one creation takes its wings and flies away, that we could ever understand that these worlds that we lived in would never have to understand what you knew about bending the elements. And that he tells me he'd have to have wings to fly around the way he did, and he'd never fly the way he did. Unless he knew violet light in addition to green. That green was air, and violet was sex. That he knew what it was, knew where to change it, where to understand it. That you could understand that the way he flew was impossible for anyone without wings. But no one could understand why you thought it was possible for Darth Vader to breathe the way he did and not move like he breathed the way he did. Unless he understood that this life, this world, this aspect, this reality, this life, this world could bring your change in all that you are. 
And I could never have to tell you who you were, and I could never have to tell you who I was. And you'd never have to understand exactly what I was when I sang this song, and I knew your tones, and I knew that you could believe that I was who I said I was. And how many of those speeches you lost and deleted and taken away from you should be irrelevant by now, because I know he's out there, and someone tells me that you could inspire him to come to you and tell you about a reality you can understand. That when you can disappear your entire family inside a decade, there's a damn good reason for it, when he wants to cover up what you called the Watergate. Stargate, gate to the heavens, whatever you wanted to believe reality could have been. Did you see what it looked like? The Watergate, sure enough. That they can make these false pretenses and allegations and ideas and understandings of whatever you wanted to believe. But I could only hear about the lore after walking out of a hell field and understand that you had no aspect of reality. That monsters were everywhere you looked and understood that they never had to be what you were and they would not. That understanding everything in your own reality could ever believe that you would understand my own life and that I could understand who you were and where you wanted to be and what you wanted to become and what you wanted to see in this kind of a world beyond all that we ever had to believe. And every time you wanted to believe something different that I had to misspeak just to say time in a different way that you had to understand that just because my accent stuck in a certain way and I thought about different people as I was speaking to you I can't change the way I am, the way I speak, the way I want to be. You have to understand what a sound like this sounds like to a baby. What an idea of what you are and where you could come from and what that is and why you could draw comfort and the kind of reaction you could believe in this kind of a reality. How much fun it is to listen to the voice actors who play Batman and Superman in those old cartoon shows. How much better it is to hear him talk the way he wants to talk and change the way he wants to believe. Because actors and voice actors all over the world, all alike, have to think about that person, find that character, and know who they are to be who they are and say who they are. Tom Welling had about 400,000, what, Krypton voices or Superman's? Just about how many more did Superman have to have for you to know that they only let him use about 18? How many times did you have to understand that no one in their reality had to believe that you could ever understand what you were and why that boy had to wear the Superboy suit the entire time anyway when he showed up? He wanted to. He heard that was the Superboy suit, and he knew that they never let him play Superman because it didn't make any sense to him in real life that the moment he had the idea for it, he wouldn't be Superman as Superman as Superman, no matter how small that boy was. And I sure as hell understand a whole different aspect that you could know that he always wanted a son. That he could always understand that Superboy could be a name for a child. And that would mean here that that child was protected by Superman. You could never understand anything about what he wanted for that child beyond the fact that Superman was involved and he was never going to leave him. So whatever you wanted to believe about your own reality and what you wanted to see and what you wanted to seek out and what I am and where I come from and what I'm going to do. Where I go to do exactly where you wanted me to did I say what you wanted me to say, or did I go to a different kind of a reality where I could say that I believe in Goku? Ku go in on which way these back far sure ten lao. These lives could never tell you who you were and what this aspect could mean in reality. And I don't not believe in who I say I believe in. But you have to understand that time has never worked the way you thought it was, and places and names get what? Never used again? That you could ever understand that Metropolis is never what you thought it was, unless you believe that it could be something else entirely. And that Lex Luthor ne never got put in jail, and he never messed up either, unless you thought he had to stumble just to keep himself alive, or to keep someone from believing that they could never do what this god could do. That he could be something like Hermes, but never be Hermes at all. That he could be Ares instead, and know about what his reality was. And if you didn't know the kanji for a god of war, it's the kanji for a complex of pain. The idea that you needed this pain because the horror was already there. What you wanted to know and what you wanted to see and what you wanted to understand. When this reality came into that one and these people understood who you were and where you came from and what you wanted to become was whatever you had fed to them. And whatever they'd been fed before that could affect and change everything they got about what you did. They could drink with you and get as sick as all hell from what they had before. So what you have to know is what we wanted more in this world here for these people that we could understand a world without evil and some day and some eventuality. But that that eventuality could never come about if we lost forever child and we never have. We have these worlds and we can feel these people. We know these people in this world and there's no off switch for your body. It doesn't happen like that. It doesn't work. They can wake you up with fire and a stick like they can wake you up with... What? Clear? Check this. 
check these worlds and understand what you were with the sleeping dead when we said rest in peace and why you wanted to understand why they had to mummify, why they had to encase, why they had to lock stone coliseums. Coliseums? Holoseums. Which one? Back one. I've played custom robo and I didn't really know where I was going with that conversation except that I can do things you didn't know I could do. I could talk in people the way I want to talk into them. I could understand that what you wanted to understand that I'm a lot smaller than you maybe thought I was. I'm a boy still and I don't understand what you thought I had to do about my reality. I don't know how old I am. I lost my family a long time ago. Nobody has to understand what that means. Because a long time ago in a field you didn't know anything about could be a lot longer than you ever anticipated. But what you anticipate in the moment here before again in some kind of reality a long time ago that I could change these worlds and I could change what I am and I know that I want it to change and I'm not going to stop being alive so I can understand exactly what you say. But when I say alive there I mean existing. Because I don't know if I'm dead or not but I think I might be. I understand that when I talk to you, I have to lie about every little bit about what I am just to hold a conversation. Or could I be earnest through honesty? Or honest through honesty? This idea that you understand that I knew that in my earnest, most honest disposition, I could tell you that I want to tell you the truth and I want to love you and I want you to understand that aspect of reality. So if I knew you would never believe what I believed about myself anyway, the only way to ever be honest, earnestly honest, was to give you something dishonest or just a lie. We could say the different words, maybe because they are, or we could lie about it and tell you what that lie meant there for. That you could ever understand what I wanted to say and what these people wanted me to be he, here for this reality in a different kind of a world. And I don't get scared when I see a bumblebee, but they're toddling around like someone you might know, trying to tell you nothing's wrong with the world, but you also might want to have to worry about whether or not you saw something else involved in the situation. And I could tell you who you were and whether or not I had to toddle when I got to the place I got to when I lost my family. And that was true, but I could run, and I ran. And these people didn't understand what you were doing, where you came from, and where you were going. But I never bleached my skin, and that's all they ever needed to want to attack me. They only bleached it out to be albino. That's what their world is. That all people are colored people to them. And sure enough, they don't torture each other. Slowly, quickly, as fast as they can, but they know the chase... Is part of the torture itself that it is torture and they can come to want you to kill them just to watch. Why would you believe that they ever believe they had something valuable to live for? They don't have God. They don't have love. This reality, this life, they don't have sex. So you understand what their reality is when they had that crime of aggression and not passion. And what you believe, they could actually understand what that meant in this reality for our world ever on into some other reality, some other aspect and some other equation that you could come to understand that I would be alone and understand. And I could be there by myself and have sex with myself because I have God. I have the force. I understand these realities. So you could understand where scars come from and what you think reality is like in aspect of an equation because when you're being tortured you still have God and so what your aspect of reality is isn't something other than people could understand and I could be here and I could know that every time you understood a little bit more about what I was and where I came from you could understand that unless I have something to sing about I don't have a way to speak to you and tell you who I am and what I wanted to be Except that these words and these sounds mean something else entirely to me. That I can speak like a hero I know. There's a reason I can speak like this. And that you could understand the only reason it works is because you're not talking back to me. I could understand a way to speak to you. But you'd have to be able to have a really trippy way to speak to me. And I don't understand why you think it wouldn't have to be this kind of way. For them to understand what you say in your reality. Be off over mine and said before that this is world beyond everything I ever have to know about who you are why you come here and where you want to come from but that I could be there and I could understand who you were and where you came from and what you wanted to understand about yourself and your life and your reality I could know that you weren't believing everything I was you weren't believing that I could be young enough to wonder who the hell you thought I was in the first place and why I had to go to school and it didn't make a little bit of sense to me because I can't go to school without friends around me telling me what's going on because they forget about me and I'm too different and I have to lie about myself just to hold a conversation because no one wants to believe about the pain in my gut being from whatever I thought it might have had to be when I thought someone wanted to rip me open because people have tried. And the idea that you ever thought I never had to get cut open in, in world just to satisfy a rapist is insane. They never wanted me to believe anything other than my reality was outside my control. But that never made any sense because nothing they are makes sense to what we are. They are agony incarnate and we have to believe this world can be rid of monsters forever and finally. 
but your idea of this reality and these aspects and our own equations could believe that I could never have to understand what you said about my world and my life and my reality, but you ever forgot what I was. You never had to forget, but I never had to say you did not want, you did not want to, did you? Didn't want to see what I want to say? What I would have said the last time I had to say anything at all. But you could never have to believe that anything that I was ever think over sure and this and this and before again. Did you forget that I don't know how to speak to you in the ways you know and understand? Because the things I say come in a different order and what I have to say for this in ways they come again and before again. Should I lost the link and the note? So with that I say a pen on my heart. In Indonesia you say Marika, you translate to in your heart. But days ago, you didn't think a child may be have so many pain in his heart. There's a more vivid description is necessary. That these worlds, these realities, these places we could come to, these understandings of whatever you are, whatever you wanted to be, and what you could be, what you could understand, and where we were, and where we wanted to be. All you had to do was think that there was some kind of a broken sing-song reality, and I was talking too fast. Well, slow it down for a little while, listen to it again. See what the baby does when I talk to him like I want to let you know... That the croatone isn't what you thought it was. It's not the same thing. There's a monster down the street from your house and you didn't know about it, but he thinks he can get away with torturing you forever because of all these social devices surrounding around him. But when the hum of hell changes because monsters got released into your reality, he'd be croatone in half a second and try to rip your body apart. The idea that you didn't understand what monsters were in real life and that they had to color things in a certain way, you didn't have to understand who I was when I said what I was, only that I'm... Not who you thought I had to be in this reality just to exist. And so there you are again in your real world. Maintaining a living world like we all psychically have to do. We all, you all, these ones here before bound together in millions in love and harmony. And there are dead kids all over the world. And I think I might be one of them. And I don't understand what to say to you because I can't just be around in a room and get high off your personality. Unless you're getting the evident what to me. You understand these and the airs we play? You can sit there and just think about the fact that we have friends, we have God, and we have life. Well, I know we have those things, and I don't understand why you think we shouldn't be talking about it. But you're afraid that all the sociopaths you hang out with, they can cut into you. So you just get quiet, and you have God there in quiet. And you leave the kids who they killed just to torture without in front of you. There to try and figure it out themselves, or you ostracize them because they won't understand what you are and where you come from. You are what you say you are, or you are what you say you are when you say what you are the last time you wanted to say anything at all. And you thought I might have lost track of that because you couldn't track it and they didn't understand what you were and where I came from. But I'm not nothing short of a genius, or that no nothings never had to know anything about which type of no I meant in the first place because I already told you I could reorder the words. So it would be K-N-O-W or N-O, and you never had to understand which one I said unless you wanted to forget everything about that reality and listen to the spirit of everything I've tried to say to you here, and that maybe that sentence was just for a literal lesson course, or that sentence had itself and the rest of it too.